think I fucked up. I think I didn't pick the BFG up. From 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 Sarge. I didn't pick the BFG up. No. Oh no. Ah, oh, I can't even go back. That's it. I just didn't pick the BFG up. GG. Okay. I didn't pick the BFG up when I killed Sarge. Can you believe this? Well, I can believe that's something I would do because I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't pick the BFG up. Oh my god. Why would I do that? do that literally why would I not pick up the BFG that's such a swizz there isn't another one in the game I made this game infinitely more harder by for myself for no reason. Other than I'm a fucking idiot. So disappointed in myself. So disappointed in myself. But we have to roll with it. We have to keep going. <clears throat> we have to keep going, regardless of how we feel about this. have to accept that we don't get to use the BFG because I'm an idiot. There is no... So annoyed at myself. We've made the end game. This so is the scientific journal of Dr. Richard Davis, dated August 8, 2145. We've just broken through to a new chamber, and I think I found the map alluded to on one of the tablets. 
The artifact is constructed into the ceiling, and it is a magnificent find. It appears to be made of some crystalline material, and even after all this time, it is still emitting a soft glow. The markings on it were strangely familiar when I first observed it, and after digitizing it and analyzing it, I'm certain this is a map of our solar system. It seems to show a connection between Mars and Earth. My current working theory is that the last survivors used the teleportation technology to escape to Earth. The ramifications of this are overwhelming. This may end up proving that we are actually descendants of this race, and what we are exploring is our own history. I am going to report my findings as soon as we finish the excavation, and they should show up in corporate within a few days. These are truly exciting times. Log out. I can't believe I forgot to pick up the BFG. Who forgets to pick up the best weapon in the game? I'll tell you who. His name's Alex and he's a twat. See, now would have been a good time to use the BFG that I didn't pick up. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I've got a rocket launcher, but if you've ever played this game's end boss fight, you'll know that you need better clearance. Better, better clearance than uh, this is going to afford you. It's the kind of fucking thing Alex does. But at least we picked it up at the start of the game. Because, uh... <laughs> this is where we would like a BFG. I'm not joking. I think this is like two Hell Knights. Somewhere I can hide. No. Okay, this is bad. Um, I think this is either two Hell Knights or just one Hell Knight and something else. Standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis. I don't know what the other thing was because it died very quickly, but yeah. Not the right kind of a... a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. That's the cover Utilizing of Doom. the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data, specifically detailing the mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers use this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story, a story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. 
This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth stone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere. Where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see. Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique... Are you sure you killed them? What? You have the soul cube, just like in the carvings I've been researching. If I'm correct, that cube is our only chance to stop this. No time to explain now. You need to get to the caverns quickly. Take my PDA. It's right there on the desk. It's got security codes for the area and my research logs on it. It'll help. I can't go with you. I need to finish my work here. Good luck. Well, aren't you a little bitch? <clears throat> so yeah, you can actually genuinely leave the Sarge boss room without picking up this the is fucking Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead BFG. Jesus. stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine, and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret That's all my of the dogs. And hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. And these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. So we are descending from the Martians. New Quake 43 game blows my mind. This is the audio log of Dr. Pierce Rogers. I don't know if I'll make it off the base alive. I don't have much time, so I'll sum up what I have quickly and upload the rest of my finding into the data bank. I hope someone finds them. It was all on the stone tablets, all the answers. I can't believe we never saw it. It was as plain as day. If we had only slowed down the development of the teleporters and tried to really learn what the tablets were trying to tell us, trying to warn us, the ancient people battled the same demons that are attacking us now. The demons came through the teleporters that they built, just like now. They created the soul cube and used it to stop the demons, to drive them back to hell. I don't know how, but that must be the answer. 
That is why that artifact was left behind. Left for someone to find if something like that ever happens again. I can't reach Delta from here. I won't make it. I truly hope and pray someone finds the Soul Cube. And it helps. Lord, help us. End of log. I'm locking the door after you leave. Good luck. I'm so close to discovering everything, I can't leave. Yeah, but I've got the literal thing that you want. In my pocket, I'm feeding it souls. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he battled... I can't believe I forgot to pick no up the BFG. I didn't even know you could leave without the BFG. That's fucking insane. I'm having a bit of trouble with these steps. Would you want to stay in that office with all of that going on? No, you wouldn't. I mean, it's so bulgy and veiny. I cannot believe I fucking didn't pick up. I can't believe they let you do that. The kind of it's exactly the kind of shit I pull. Exactly the kind of shit I fucking pull when I play these games. I fuck up, I make stupid mistakes. So angry with myself. Stupid fucking rookie mistakes that I should never have made. And I didn't pick up the BFG! Who knew you could just not pick up the BFG? Who knew that was a thing you could do in Doom 3? Motherfucking mother of God! Who knew you could just not pick up the BFG? could just not pick up the BFT. It's I knew, 
I knew. I knew when I forgot to pick up the BFG. Piss. Need extra UAC credits? Become a volunteer. We won't send you through a portal to hell and then pick your brain apart. Okay, well, I, I already know because we had this earlier. They can't teleport in here. one's having a bit of a blast there. I can't tell what that is. Do I need to get a bigger gun out or am I good with this? I think it's one of the uh, knobbly armed ones. Come on. Can I grenade? Eh. No. I cannot believe you can just not pick up the... Oh. I am so sorry, I really wanted to have fun at the end. Would have been a hell of a jump scare if you hadn't have been clipping through the door. I really wanted to have... Well, you need it at the end, because you need to charge the soul cube three times during a boss fight. Which means you need... Um, while fighting a boss, you need... Uh, I don't know my... 18 kills. Oh good, tunnels of flesh. someone got max plasma gun. I thought it was really low on plasma gun. Apparently not. Anyway, that was the cloaca. <sighs> yeah, that's dripping up. literally every bullet <sighs> plasma guns a good gun Chin like a twat. A revenant here somewhere. Oh, is that a BFG? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God, you guys. Oh, thank God. Panic over. 
It's all okay now. I've been kicking myself, screaming, crying, pleading with myself in between. Like, after I'd finished it and I realised I didn't pick it up off Sarge. But they actually planned, for an idiot like me, to forget to pick up Sarge's BFG. And uh, they put one there for you, just in case you were a tool. As you can see, we're well over the 10-hour speedrun achievement. Which is stupid, because you can beat this game in like an hour and a half. Cavern's entrance locked. Freight loader returning to station. How, I don't know why there's an unsecured BFG just lying around there, especially because of everything we know about this so far. Is there anything else to pick up? Everything we know about this company and how they bitch about everything, and then there's just an unsecured BFG there. Did you see how much damage that bite attack did? Oh my god, no, will not accept. <clears throat> I can't believe I forgot Sarge's BFG. <laughs> that went slightly better. So we're basically there there is a hell mouth that we are now heading to. Assuming I can go down the ladder. Uh, <clears throat> so we're now heading to a hell mouth. Which is great. And we need to seal it using the uh, soul cube. That's what they gave their life for. Mother of cunts. So I think this is going to be the last session for today. And this is the last day of me having uh, having the house to myself by the dog who's downstairs sulking and refusing to eat because his family's gone. Mmm, cloaca. <laughs> oh god. I'm also lost. I know where I need to get to go. I need to get to the, the transfer thing to get to the archaeological dig to get down to the dig site to uh, kill the uh, cyber demon and seal the portal. But I don't fucking remember where I'm going. Would it be in the garage? It would. Get another little whistle to stop tour. So we're coming to the end of the episode as well. <clears throat> I'm actually got. You may be able to tell. I've got a very, very, very sore throat, and I shouldn't be recording. But I'm running out of holiday time. Oh, I remember this. Remember this being hard. We got to go all the way down, brothers. You may or may not be able to hear that they're a bit grumbly down there. Is there anything around here? Any little secrets? 
It was a very special time, Doom 3, and then it had a very, very, very good successor in Dead Space. Uh, which was a an awesome successor to Doom 3. Uh, I've never played any of the other Dead Space games, so I have no idea if any of them are as good or as bad. Oh, thank God it gave me a BFG. <laughs> We're going to need it. Because you got to... I think it's three times you have to hit the Cyber Demon. It's either three times or six times. So you need crowd killing stuff. But like every section in Doom 3, it's really close quarters. Oh, hi, friend. little ambush we had there. Power distribution is locked. Some nades down here if you wanted some nades. And some body armor if you wanted some body armor. Again. See what I could have done is led all the trites over there. Or spider heads or whatever. The, the things from the thing. I could have led them over there and then shot the barrel and killed them all in one go. But uh, we didn't do that, did we? So we really are coming to the end of the game now. Unfortunately, this is my last session of the day. I'm going to go and try and get my dog to eat his dinner. Took that on the chin. I shouldn't have. I did, though. Really did take that one on the chin. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this game. But that's fine. for the secondary ambush then. I thought it was a revenant. It wasn't. It was the little teleporting cunts. But uh, I thought there was a re just a revenant hiding in the corner. It wasn't. But... Oh, hi! <laughs> he had a BFG cell. From admin, Gibson's Goldstein. In need of multiple assistance, multiple injury, in immediate, immediate assistance, multiple injury reports coming following an explosion at unknown origin. Weapons fire can be heard from my staff. And then something literally flensed the poor, the poor bastard. Just, just, just straight up flensed him. Oh man. Uh, you gotta love it. You really do. So anyway, I, I will see you again tomorrow. Well, it won't be tomorrow because this is uploading in October and it's not October. 
but uh, I will see you tomorrow, whenever tomorrow is.